welcome to the channel Miss Tiny. Welcome, welcome. This is my first video I'm going to post on YouTube. I thought it'd be nice to start off with like just a simple everyday makeup look in quarantine. And if you want to see how I created this look here, please keep watching. Okay, let's do this. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to pin back our hair. Well, I'm going to pin back my hair. You can watch me pin back my hair. But um, yeah, so I'm going to pin back my hair just so it doesn't get in my makeup or anything. It's ready. The canvas is blank. And we're ready to put some makeup on. So the hair's pinned back. I have these really annoying baby hairs. They just stick out. It's like I've been electrocuted. They're really annoying. And so I'm going to start with some primer. And this is the MAC Prep and Prime. This is literally the tester. And I use literally whatever primer I have. I picked this one up just now. I was like, yeah, it would do. It does the job. Like, I feel like every primer does the job. And so we're just going to dot it around our face. And then we're going to rub it in. Okay, so now it's nicely rubbed in. Nice and even on our skin. And we're ready for some foundation and so I use the YSL foundation and this is a mattifying foundation and I just use like a tiny bit of this this is just what I do I'm just gonna take you through it through the steps really I don't think this isn't really a tutorial <laughs> I think Ted here we go, here we go outside. Come on. so I just gotta let Ted out <laughs> We barely started and I'm, oh, what is this? What is this YouTube? Oh, okay, anyway. So, yes, foundation. And so we're gonna put it on our face. I then use this silicone blender and I use that to spread it around my face. And I always think that using these, especially like a silicone blender is really good because it doesn't pick up any product because I always find that beauty blenders like really soak up the product I feel like you just lose a lot of the foundation and now we use the beauty blender just to even out the foundation okay so now it's nicely patted in and it's nice and even I then use these contour trio stick from Fenty Beauty so it's got a contour, uh, like a highlighter thing. I mean, this is how good I am with makeup. I'm like, what is this? And then this is like a highlighter blush. I'm going to use the, the highlighter stick first. I think it's a highlighter stick. I don't know, maybe it's like a foundation stick, but it's in the shade of bamboo. I actually find this is really similar to my skin tone. And so I just use it just for more foundation. So I sort of use it as a foundation. Yeah, there's no rhyme or reason the way I put makeup on. I see what works for me, I see what does what really doesn't work for me. And then yeah, then I just smash it all together and then that's my makeup look. Okay, and then I use the beauty blender to just blend it all in. And now we're going to use the uh, the contour stick from the set and some shade mocha and i actually have my mocha drink here as well so i don't know oh my god it actually is the same color maybe that's why they call it mocha and so i'm just gonna use this to contour my face and so i just follow under my cheekbones and then i do just one line around my face then i use this contour brush from real techniques i'm just cleaning it i haven't cleaned my brushes in so long I really should have done this before I filmed this. Anyway, I'm just gonna blend in this contour. Now we're gonna blend out this line. And just do like circular motions. And then I use this, the powder contour, just to like, just put some more warmth into my face. And it's from MAC and it's in the shade Medium Tan. I'm so use this as like my bronzer in a way. And now I use the blush and some shade Trippin. I just put it on my cheeks. And I use the same contour brush as my blush brush as well. I 
like you may think I use a lot of blush, but I really don't. If you want to intensify it a bit, I use the Bare Minerals blush in shade The One. Okay, so putting some life into my face, which is nice. Then I use the MAC highlighter in shade Soft and Gentle. So I use this to highlight my cheeks. Ooh, that glow, and then some on my nose. Now, it's time for these eyebrows because these are just not happening. Okay, so. Oh yeah, I need to say the name of what I'm using. So I'm using the Benefit Browsings, the number four. I think this shade is a bit too light for me. And so I use this just as like a base. Let's do these eyebrows. And so I do the, um, the straight bit first. <laughs> I'm like, what is this called? The straight bit first, and then I do my arch after. If I could only do one thing with my makeup, it would be eyebrows, because I don't have any eyebrows. I use the NYX eyebrow gel, and I just define my brow even more. <laughs> well, I try and use this. This is, <laughs> this is really hard to get out. I always struggle with this. Just give me a sec just to get this out. Okay, I think there's just enough just to do my brows. And just, you know, just make myself all pretty in quarantine because I'm not going anywhere. Normally I stop there, but I could barely get any of this out. And so I use this eyebrow, I don't know, what is it called? Shape Shade Brow Tint from MAC. And it's in the shade Spiked. And I, I use the, um, the tip, this tip, but I'm gonna use that to define to my arch even more. Cause I feel like that did nothing. And I just like do soft brush strokes. These eyebrows are good. Yeah, and so sometimes if I draw them in really bad, I use uh, some concealer and then I just like go around the outside. Yeah, and so I'm quite happy. So we can now move on to the eyes. Okay, so I use the, oh, it's the wrong way around. Oh, I'm so good at this. I use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Portion in shade Eden. I always find it's really, it really helps with um, eyeshadow to really stick the eyeshadows on your eyes obviously that's what it's made for but it does it does really help so I put it all over my lid put it under my lid as well and then I use what's it called Urban Decay Naked Basics Ultimate Palette okay and then I go into what is this I go into I've never said that before I li I've literally never said that before. You know, I just go into whatever color I want, but I guess I'm gonna have to read the actual names of the eyeshadows I'm using. So I go into Faith, this one here, and it's like the light brown of the um of this palette. Just dab it on this Real Techniques blending brush, and I put it just all over my lid. And then I use shade um, Lockout, which is the dark brown. As you can see, I actually really use these browns a lot. They're really messy. I've actually never looked at these names before. Like, I did not know this shade was called Lockout, and I did not know the other one was called um, Faith. I just see a color and I'm like, oh, that's a pretty color. Just dip my brush in there and just go, just go ham on my face, really. Then I go on the outside of my um, eye. I really had to learn how to do my eyes because all the makeup tutorials I watched or I've learned from, they, they just didn't have my eye shape and so I really had to learn and adapt to my eyes and so I think like the stage I am at now with my makeup and my eyes, it's been... <laughs> It's been a long road and because I had to adapt, I always bring my eyeshadow just a tad higher just so you know, just so you can actually see the eyeshadow on my eyes. 
because obviously my eyes just fold in different places and then the classic double lid I have a lovely lovely mono lid eye and I just love my eyes now and so and now we're going to do a wing and so I use a waterproof eyeliner and I just you got to shake it up you always have to shake it up I use this and um, we're going to draw a lovely wing let's do this I feel like I don't breathe when I do my wing. Like all my concentration is to get this wing straight. Now let's try and replicate this wing on my other eye. Wish me luck. It's not too bad. I think that's quite even. If you want to know how I do my wing, I have another video coming out soon and I explain it in more detail of how I achieve my wing eyeliner. But yeah, so this is the wing and then I'm going to use this brown eye pencil and I use it on my bottom lash line. Because I always find that if you use a black on your lash line, it's just a bit too intense, I find. And so I just gently run it over my lash, my bottom lash line. And then we're gonna use a nice little blending brush and I just blend out the um, line. I find it's really hard to like explain. Well, it's not really hard, but I never explain like my makeup, like my routine or anything. So, <coughs> mascara now. I almost, I almost forgot. We're not done, we've got mascara to use. And so this is like a MAC mascara and just swipe it on my lashes. I could curl my lashes, but I don't I don't trust those curlers. They're like weapons and I don't want them anywhere near my eyes, thanks. Let's put some lipstick on and then we will be finished with the makeup. And so I use good old Fenty. I do love this brand, it's really nice. And so this is the shade single. Literally me. I will just swipe it all over my lips. And then I put them together. And then I define the um the bottom lip. And so this is the makeup. This is done. I'm quite happy. This actually turned out okay. And so let's take out the hair. Ow. <laughs> it's stuck. Okay, there we go. So this is it. This is the look. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Miss Tiny. And I hope I'll see you again.